Hawks represent all my island people say We people celebrating only from my homeland Like my old man say there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical Straight from the crew out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have to step up for the past when it's calling What's that? Nobody gonna stop us People, everybody, would you listen to us for a start? No boy complaining and that's we partaking We represent the cause of the ones falling We resemble true art When we bust the line, flip the rabbits from the heart No, there's never gonna be another Everybody stop betraying and Previously on Delos We check out some local jelly fishermen Officially check into Thailand and weigh our options of changing the rig on Delos. We woke up with the sun to get Delos into the Royal Phuket Marina. Today was a huge day for us. We were gonna dive head first in the replacement of our standing rigging. It was something that was absolutely necessary to do before crossing the Indian Ocean. know what we're doing really but we're gonna try and go with it so we were thinking the first things we could take down would be obviously the the hardest one is going to be the force day so we'll take down the foresail first the Genoa get that down on deck and then we'll run a halyard from up top replacing what the force day would be doing to brace it and then we'll have another halyard coming off of the mizzen mast to support that and we'll ease the backstays so everything kind of comes forward and we'll have slack to pull that off and then we'll pull the furling motor off and then <laughs> if all that goes really smooth then that'll be supported the backstays on the mizzen will be supported then we'll get a forestay on the mizzen coming down and take the triadic off a backstay on the main coming down if we have enough lines. And that'll be the first run. Let's so. do it. So this is the halyard that we use for the Genoa. And we've just basically taken it off and attached it to the bow of the boat so we can use it as a temporary force stay. Electrics are done. So I'm hooking up a bridle in the stern because we have two backstays for the mizzen, but we want it to come down the center and pull straight back on it. So tighten this down a little bit. Yeah. But then we need to ease off uh, on the backstay for the main, yeah. and we also need to ease off on the backstay for the mizzen. Yep. So. Round one, here we go. Yeah. All right, Max, so what we're gonna do is when these things unscrew, um, the reverse one thread is different than the other, so as you unscrew it, both of these sides move out. Yeah. So if we tape it here, and we tape it here, and then we loosen it, then we get to the dock, then we tighten it, and we know what the eye-to-eye the -eye length will be when the rig is in tune, and that'll help us put it back on yeah. later. Yeah. So what you want to do is just go around to each one and just put a piece of tape right like that. Ready for tension on? Hold on to your panties, Brion. Wait on. Lines looking good. Alright, let's do it. I think so. Is that this one? Yeah. Yeah, just make sure this one runs free. Good luck, we're on. Don't shut your pants.
so we've got the backstay, the temporary backstay sorted, and we've eased off the mizzen stays so they're nice and loose. So now we just gotta take the pins out. And Brian's up top doing the same thing. Make sure nothing falls in the water. Time for a beer and a pickle sandwich. A pickle sandwich? Karen prepared. What do we got going on now? I'm um, just getting the furler motor off. So I've got all the pins out. I've got the bolts out that hold the, the foil into the furler motor. I'm gonna pop this pin out down here so I can pull it back. And then that should pop up, which should allow us to loosen the turnbuckle. All right, well we got the mizzen off. That was pretty easy, so now it's time for the tricky one. So you've got to figure out a way to get the furler down, which I've actually never done before. So, <laughs> see how that goes. Nice and slow, but yeah. Okay, take him out slack. Okay. okay. Wait on. You guys are looking good. Oh man, it's so hot. Yeah, a pretty intense headache going on. We need to drink more water, bro. Yeah. So what's coming down now, Brady? Um, the triadic will be coming down soon. Right now, Brian's just attaching the pin for the four stay. <laughs> hey, you don't want to hear that. Oh uh, yeah, he's taking out the, we're loosening up the four stay so we can get it, get the foil out of the furling motor. And then once we get that, we'll lay the four stay all the way out on the dock. All right, bro, attention's on the bucket. Yep. And then on the way back down, we'll take down the intermediates. How you feeling, man? Yeah, all right. Just all right. Watch. Yeah, it's fucking hot. Got a pretty good headache. That's a good sign of mild heat stroke or some shit. <laughs> I'm just watching Brian up there fucking hammer away at the mast as the fore stays slacked and the back stays slacked. We're in good shape, though. We're being extra safe. We've got everything sorted. Safe. Drank a couple liters of water in the shade. Got a bit of breeze. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, Frida, can you maybe film? So we've got the four stay off now. Ready, maybe get from my up at the bell looking because it's going to drip down that way. Okay, wait. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, How much line do you have left? A couple meters. It's not as heavy. How's it going, guys? Oh, man. All good. Good. We've gotten five out of the seven stays we were going to get off today. Awesome. Hot yeah. day though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, we're all dehydrated, I think. I'm trying to drink liters and liters of water, but it's hard to keep up. Yeah, I think. The boat's just destroyed with shit laying everywhere. All of our stays are laying down the dock. Welcome to the Royal Phuket Marina. 
So Max, do you think one week is enough for this? I think so. Get everything down and up? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, oh, maybe in nine days. It's gonna be tricky to get it all back. But I think we can handle it. We try for that. Yeah. What are you doing, Karen? How's it going? Sweating my balls off here. So hot, isn't it? Yeah. Imagine Bri, he's been up there for like half the day, most of the day. He refuses to come down. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna stay up here. Insane, man. Mm. How are you doing up there, Bri? Tired. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The man is craft is not enough. Multi-purpose penetrant lubricant. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. This is stuff dreams are made of. Okay. Ready, Mac? Yep. Coming down. Yep. Is um, Brian coming down soon? I think he's gonna stay up there tonight and continue to work through the night. Yeah. Yeah. No, we'll probably be coming down in like 45 minutes, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get him down, but he doesn't want to come down. Just have to pass enough beers in that bucket. <laughs> yeah, I think we have like 10 in the fridge. Beers and coke and a thorn. Just dripping it all over the fucking deck. Gross. <laughs> hey, shut up up there, we're trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be one of those, like he went up and he never came back down again. Like, his lunch, his brekkie, everything is sent up. That's good. Yeah, yeah that's great. So like, is it what you thought it would be? Um, like with the rigging, did you think that this is what it would be like? Getting everything down, or has it been harder? No, I think it's actually, when we first thought about it, we had no idea what it was like or how hard it was. You just imagine it's some crazy, crazy rocket science, but it's pretty straightforward and mechanical and just some real strong wires holding up a mast. Oh, shit. <laughs> We got seven stays down today. Out of? Out of, ah, oh, a lot. 18, not yet. You ready, Brad? Yep. Coming down. Yep. Coming down. 18, so we have 11 left. Yeah. And he's coming down. Karen will do a Swedish massage tonight for you, I'm sure. So how do you feel, Brian? You've been up there all day. Exhausted. Yeah? So I'll drink a big glass of water, lay down and have a beer. Yeah. Right out into the water. Yeah. But you did really good. Like you did the most you could for one day, huh? Oh, the mast didn't fall over. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Pretty sure it wouldn't. Yeah. We got everything done today that we thought we were gonna get done. Yeah. We or actually, we didn't think we were gonna get done. Yeah, we got more done. <laughs> we got we more done do. than we thought. We got the floor stay off, which is awesome. I was really worried that that would be really hard. Yeah. And we got the back stay off the main. We got the triadic stay off the top. We got the back stays off for the mizzen. And we even got the intermediate shrouds port and starboard off for the main. So it was like one, two, three, seven. four, yes, yeah, seven. Seven we got off today. 
I think we were w worried about, yeah, just getting the, the force day off. But. So now we gotta figure out how to get this out of here, because it has one of these on both ends, and this hole is too small. There's bearings inside that. And there's bearings inside this that allow it to spin on the. So I'm not really quite sure about that. There's and neither, here. neither end is mechanical, is it? So the, the two options are, you cut it and take it out, and then when we put the new one in, that end will be a mechanical swage fitting instead of pressed. Or we f figure out how to take this apart, which it probably would be good to service all the bearings anyways. <laughs> Can you imagine getting this thing apart? How does it even come apart? There's not even any screws in it. I think what I think it's there's parts that slide out of each other. <laughs> You're always saying that they slide in and out of each other smoothly. It's beautiful. Or if that cap is off, will it fit through then? You I can't I mean? imagine the bearings are that big. There should be the same size as the wire. There's quite a lot of gap in there. So after. About 30 seconds of looking at things, trying to get everything <laughs> apart. We decided to just try and pull it. And it seems to just come right out. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to other four stays that we've heard about that like, it's all a big bearing system and the swage on the other end, which is like this guy that really crimps out of the wire, won't fit through the, the uh, bearings. But I don't know either if there's not any bearings in here, if there needs to be, or if the swage just fits through because that's the way they designed it. But either way, we can just pull it out and not have to take this shit apart. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's just a really greased stay. That's all it is. It's fantastic. A greasy stay. new one we just gotta grease the shit out of it and stick her in. The next day David from Rolly Tasker dropped by to grab her old standing rigging. We were real keen to see the process, so we set out on a little Dallas field trip to the rigging shop. So we found the car, it's a Corolla. Oh, that's a nice car. Well, we need to do a upgrade. That's an upgrade. Look at that thing. It's like a sauna, you're sweating from the inside out. We all have like that sweat moustaches. And the breast is just like... So we're here in Rolly Tasker in Phuket and we're gonna go downstairs to see David about sorting out our rigging. Yeah. It's like friggin' two hours. Yeah. 
So it's cool, we're gonna see how they do it, how they press all the swages on, and the whole process. What's your thoughts, Karen? It's really cool. It's really cool to see how they're made. And like how everything is just in this warehouse kind of feeling. And it's very exciting. This wire, before switching, you push it to this screw here. And you keep one diameter lens yeah. where you don't switch. Why? Why is because, that? Because uh, when you switch, the wire's expanding a uh, little bit at the end. So uh -huh. it's make like a wider diameter mm -hmm. here, so, so it's impossible to switch. There is more chance to slip if you switch from the beginning. Because it makes series. like a bulb at the yes. bottom. But if you don't switch here, so the wire just explodes a little bit. And you can see also, this. so this is a rest. Was here huh, before, so we cut in half. And you can see how thick it's going. Yeah, wow. The strand of the wire inside the, inside the switch phase. That's why uh, sometimes people ask me for inspection on board, so we go with loop, but says you cannot see where it's the failure will happen most of the time because 90% it breaks inside the switch. So this is some strands which break. This is one wire which we, we get, we receive, and when we check for measurements, we have some loop quick, we do like this, crack, and we crack it by broken. hand, just by hand. And uh, we, we had to finish to cut those three. Yeah. For, for so it doesn't really rust down here. It rusts in the first yeah, kind of. Yeah. It's, it's maybe not rust. Huh? It's just uh, metal fatigues. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, check on standing wheel. It doesn't mean nothing. Just for yeah. insurance. Yeah, 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 you yeah. say it looks, but we rather cannot guarantee that uh, <laughs> it looks good. Okay, but looks good doesn't make doesn't mean too much. The mission mizzen forward lower, the one the strand that we noticed that was broken. And we're going to it cut looks like there's actually two strands. Yeah. Broken. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. yeah. Good? Yep. So there was one that we noticed when we were checking everything with the pick and one broke off. And it looks like when we cut it now, cut the wire, there was another one here. So we're gonna cut the whole thing open and see what's going on inside. Should be cool. Suede is almost split all the way in half. And we'll see what's on the inside. Some rest is deep, huh? This is the top. That is, so the rest is all the way down. Yeah, yeah. This is the top because you see the broken strand just here. The start. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is the top. Yeah, I'm surprised to see rust so down. Yeah. Probably because of those damn shroud covers. And one strand is broke. This broken strand wasn't the scariest part, though. This crack pin came out of our force day, which could have brought down the entire mast. How in the hell did the rig inspector miss this little gem? Check your own rig, guys, and check it really good. The industry kicks around a lifespan of 10 years for a typical rig. For blue water cruising insurance, most companies will make a fuss if your rig is any older. Ours was the original for Delos and 15 years old. So what are you doing? I am measuring <laughs> to the bottom of this, this here. Okay. And then, go like this, right? Yep. See where the bottom of it is. Right? So why, why 12? Because when we crease this together, because the diameter of 
<laughs> this day is 12 mil. Yeah. So then when we press this together, the bottom of it will billow out and there's no way it can come out. You got it. Now we are ready for the gym. Okay. Let's do this. So right, yep, right there. Okay. So now it's okay. Until it grabs it. Push a little bit, I think. Oh. So come back with your other step. Okay. So good? Yeah, a little bit in between. No, no, no. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Continue hammering away on our projects. 
We take our old standing rigging to the recycler and get asked to leave the marina, probably for making too big of a mess. I saw the good Thai lady, the worker, in here doing this in like 20 seconds. And she made us have oh, not big guns. <laughs> it's really fucking hard. He's gonna have to go change his panties after this. Yeah, yeah.